What's up, everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Zero the Gold Cap Challenge. This is the Working Man's Gold Farm, and today we'll be going through the mailbox, clean out, and see what we did for the week. Um, this will be a little different one, an interesting one, I think, for me, is uh, what I did was I took all my characters, well, most of them, and then whatever is in the reagent bank, I just sent to my banker. It didn't matter if I needed the things in the reagent bank, if I didn't need the things in the reagent bank. I'm sure you all have a bunch of shit just piled up in your reagent bank for no reason. I know I did. Just a lot of random gems and a lot of like, volatiles and stuff like that that I know I never really use, but you just keep it in there for that fact that you might need them one day. So What I did was I just sold them all. <laughs> I sent them all to my banker, every one. I think on like three or four tunes, I sent everything. Um, it did, I'll say, boost my auctions from like high 400s to like, I think, 800 to 1,000 auctions. 800 to 900 auctions. So... It'll be interesting to see how many we sold, because normally I could sell anywhere between 120 to like 150, 160 auctions, so we'll see where it gets us, and hopefully you get a couple big sales there every once in a while on your normal thing, so um, let's start it, you know, hopefully we get something good out of this whole thing, see if the scenario works, I mean, if it works for me, maybe it'll work for you guys, where you can just start dumping off all your reagent banks just to see what happens and get that extra money for those uh, that long boy mount. Alright, so we're starting the week off at 5.748 million. Hopefully this is the week we hit 6 million mark. Alright, we sold 460 mails, so that's really, really good. That's more than I've ever sold in them. Well, probably ever, so that's really good. But like I said, a lot of it's reagent banks, so I mean, it might not make a lot of gold because some shit was like silvers and some stuff was thousands, so we'll see how it all plays out. But the first 100 is 74,000 gold. And we'll go through some of the notable stuff here. Uh, Rage Possessed Greatsword, 4,000 gold. Uh, 109 Bolts of Ember Soak for 4,000 gold. Uh, 954 Whiptail for 4,500 gold. 903 Hypnotic Dust for 7,200 gold. Uh, 249 Volatile Lice for 14,000 gold. Uh, six Corium bars for 5,500 gold. Uh, I did do a decent amount of Corium farming this week. I got a group a couple times to go do that, so I did that a little bit. Um, that's not a bad farm. If you can definitely get into like a five man or a ten man group to do that, but it's not a little bad way to spend a couple hours, so I recommend that. Um, let's see. Lucky shirt, 2,700 gold. I think you buy that for like, I don't know, 80 gold. I don't know. Not a lot. Uh, let's see, Insignia Belt, 2,000, Warren Dragon Scales, 83 of them for 2,200. Uh, let's see, Heroic Armor of the Aura, 1,000 gold. Uh, Male Combat Gauntlets, 1,700 gold. So, that's the first 100. Uh, 74,000, not too bad. Hopefully add it up, hopefully we hit that 6 million mile mark. So let's take the first 100. Then that still gets us with 360 auctions to go, or mails to go. Hopefully we go up from there, but like I said, a lot of it was um, worthless stuff that I was just stockpiling in the mail, or the reagent bank for no reason, so. We blew it out, it did sell fast, it did sell furious, obviously there's a lot of it sold. Let's hope it all equal out to be money. If not, then we'll see how that plays out, but. Alright, we're getting down there here. Uh, let's see. It's continuing to drain my bank. Let's see. It's continuing. Okay, there. It stopped. Alright, so the next 360 males. It's showing 77 of them. So let's uh, reload this real quick. Oh, there's the 100 after I fucking reloaded it. So, I think this week what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to do a lot more whiptail farming, stuff like that. A lot more reagents. Um, Serenite farm. Um, Titan steel I'm going to try and get. Uh, I farmed a uh, sulfurian hammer. Got all the mats for that. Farm that. Put that in the auction house. Alright, let's see. Uh, the next 100 is 103,000. We'll write that down. 103k. So that's really good too for the next hundred. So we're doing really well. We're doing really well selling everything from my reagent bank. So and again, I did not have like, um, like 
two hundred of each volatile and two hundred of each primal. I mean, I didn't have anything like that or thousands of everything. I mean, it was definitely like some decent stuff and some junk along the way. So we'll see. I mean, you can tell there's tons and tons of low level junk sold in here. So like eighty seven silver. So like a lesser moonstone. I definitely just put everything in my bank. So all right, let's go into it. Uh, Agent Maelstrom, uh, thirty seven hundred. Uh, recipe lemon herb fillet 2500 uh, I recommend stocking up on those it actually sells pretty decently and it just comes from the dark moon fair for I think dagger moss now you can buy it it used to be you could just buy it with some gold from a guy but they changed it to now it has to just be dark moon dagger moss but I recommend selling this I sell a good amount of these every time so I try and stock up when the dark moon fair comes around because it's definitely worth it um, Arctic first 12 of them for 1100 gold uh, gleaming iron spike for 1398 or well, 13,981 uh, 112 primal waters for 28,688 uh, enchant weapon power turret for 1700 uh, 10 flask of the currents for 1700 dread leather bindings for 2500 band of the virtuous for 3200 uh, let's see, 19 titanium ore for 2200. Skipping some stuff here, nothing big. Uh, hardened adamantite bars, 30 of them for 3500 gold. 7 true gold, 6600 gold. Uh, 112 volatile water for 4173. And 135 thick leather for 2200 gold. So that's 103,432. So we'll go ahead and collect that. That gives us 260 auctions left, hopefully. Hopefully we keep going. Hopefully it doesn't just... The next hundred be like 85 gold, because that would suck. But we're getting up to that $6 million mark. Uh, that's kind of where I wanted to be this week. Hopefully a little bit more. And then we can start working on $7 million, So that'll be huge. Again... I still haven't pulled that trigger on the Brutusaur mount. I don't know if I'm gonna. I mean, it's such a bunch of money. I mean, it doesn't take me a ton of time to get all this money. I mean, it does take me some time, but I think once I have all this money, I don't really want to part with this money, so we'll see how it all plays out. All right, so the next 100 auctions, let's see what we do this, is 81,231. So we'll do 81k. So yeah. So let's see. We'll go through things to note here. Again, I am really, really happy with what's going on here. It's no like massive, huge items, but it's definitely all just stuff I farmed. Like I was doing the little titanium farm and the serenite farm for a little bit, but I'm really happy with it. Just selling the random shit from the auction or the reagent bank. So let's go. See, like I said, boom, fell blossom, 24 silver, 11 silver. I mean. Like I said, I sold everything and anything, so. 58 fell slate for 600 bucks. Uh, 135 thick leather for 2294. Uh, 74 pyrite for 2800. 4 primal fires for 1100. Uh, 10 pyrium bars for 1200. And like I said, I sold everything. Like, I could have used them. I definitely could have used all that ore, but I sold it anyways. Uh, heavy Borium Leather, 74 for 3,000. Uh, 173 Volatile Fires for 3,300. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dark Green Wedding Hambach for 1,500. 141 Saturday Night Ores for 2,100. Uh, 66 Volatile Airs for 200 or 2,200. Uh, 23 Titan Steel Bars for 23,000 gold. That's huge. Maybe I'll try and get some more Titan Steel. Uh, let's see, 10 titanium bars for 1400. 51 motes of shadow for 1400. Uh, let's see, flask of the currents, 89 of them for 16,000. And 211 volatile earths for, I don't know where the fuck it went, uh, 3000 gold. So, again, it's all adding up. We'll see where it goes. Let's collect this. That's 81, that still leaves us, I think, 160 auctions to go, or mails to go. Hopefully it gets us something good, so... Yeah, definitely going to do a lot of just herbs and ore this week. I think that's my plan. Maybe see if I can get into titanium, or not titanium, but... Aquarium farm here and there. 
stuff like that. I think I'm trying to get away a little bit away from transmog right now and just trying to do a lot of the gathering professions. I've been actually trying to do level up some of my tunes to 122 with that extra 100% experience. So I've just been doing a bunch of uh, island expeditions on my 110s, 111, 112s to try and get into 120. So that's taking up a little of my time too. So we'll see how it all plays out. All right. Next hundred is 68,000 gold. Write that down. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Flask of the Currents, 40 of them for 7,200. Uh, Magnus with Hide for 1,100. Uh, let's see. Uh, Style and Jungle Hat for 14,000. I did make both of those this week. I did make three or two of uh, Warbear Woolies, too, so we'll see what that played out. Uh, that doesn't seem like a lot, but somehow it equals out. Alright. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Uh, Laystone Ore, 785 for 7,400. Uh, 20, no. Titan, there are Titan Steel Bars, 8 of them for 8,000 gold. Enchant Boots Bore Speed for 6,600 gold. Uh, 198 King's Blood for 1,100 gold. Coarse Leather, 405 of them for 1,400. And Greater Celestial Essence, 247 for 1,800 gold. So that was this whole thing. Yeah. Alright, so let's collect that. That's 68,000 gold. And let's hope that last 68 pops, you know. That'd be awesome to go out big. But I don't think I will. But yeah, I think that's my plans for the week. I Hopefully it all works out. Hope I make a lot more money. Now that I'm at that $6 million mark, I feel like $10 million is a little more attainable. More than halfway. So that mentally that really boosts me to go a little harder at this and try and get that $10 million mark. Uh, let's see. It's collecting, collecting, collecting. Alright, last 60. What do we got? 10 gold, 100 gold, who knows? Let's find out. Huh? Showing 62 males. Alright. So, let this reset. Boom. 101,030. This is a pretty big freaking week again. Pretty big fucking week. Alright. Scroll all the way up to the top. Uh, heavy Savage Leather, 1,200. 12, fuck me. 12 Heavy Savage Leather for 5,300 gold. Style and Crimson Hat for 16,000 gold. Style and Adventure Hat for 6,600. I'll probably redo all three of those this week, too, because I have the Cobra Scales. Um, I think. Maybe I sold them. Who the fuck knows, honestly? Where is it a farm? Uh, another recipe for leather, or sorry, another recipe for lemon herb fillet for 2300. Time warm shadow tooth for 2300. Uh, soul catcher halo for 5200. Two warbill whirlies for 8500 apiece. So maybe I'll farm some more of those, put two more up. They sold really quick, like within a day. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, 11 primal waters for 3100. Lucky shirt again for 2800. Uh, let's see, War Bear Willy the third one for 8,500. Yeah, they sold super quick, so I'm definitely going to farm some more of those. It's definitely a pain in the nards to get the War Bear leather. It's easy, but they don't drop it very often, and it takes like 15 to make one, so I mean, it's worth it. It definitely is worth the time, so let's see. Enchant Staff, Greater Spell Power for 8,300. Uh, Dizzy Whirlwind Robe for 1,100, and 33 Bolts of Frost Weave for 1300 gold so that's really good i mean frost we've adds up so that's not bad oh uh, yeah so that's it that's a hundred one thousand gold so let's collect that we'll do some quick math here i'll bust out my phone try and do some math boom let's load it up all right so seventy four thousand plus 103,000 plus 81,000 plus 68,000 plus 101,000. Oh my god, holy shit, that's huge if that's accurate. 427,000 gold for the week. Freaking 
amazing. On top of the 400 some thousand we made last week. So that's fucking almost a million gold in two weeks. For me, that's amazing. I mean, yes, there's obviously bigger farmers out there that I'm sure you guys all follow that can crush that in fucking a week by itself. But for me, that's fucking amazing. So hopefully this gives you just a little idea, a little nugget in your head that maybe you just want to go ahead and sell all your um, reagent banks and see where it gets you if you're looking for that little extra gold. Uh, it definitely worked out for me. And yeah, I mean, it had a little bit of farming in there with the Titan Steel and the Corium and... Uh, the style and jungle hats and the war bear woolies, but all the rest of it, I mean, it was literally just dumping like three or four characters' reagent banks, like every bit of it, into the auction house and seeing where it got me. And it definitely worked out for me. So, 427,000 for the week is fucking outstanding. So, we are now sitting at 6,177,000. So, that's huge. Um, I don't think I have too, too much in the auction house right now. Uh, I think I might be over 500 still, so that's not bad, but I'm definitely going to try and build it up a little bit more. Uh, right now I have three auctions actually sold for 4,200 gold, so let's see. Flask of the Currents, Bolt, and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I'm sitting on 511 auctions, so that's pretty fucking good. So, if you go to WoW Tokens, or right now 109 gold, 109,000 gold, so you could have bought almost four tokens with just doing this, so... That's amazing. And if you just wanted to buy... Fuck, that's... Not... I don't know. It's Shadowlands. Fucking right there, honestly. You know, it's Shadowlands. So you could have watched Shadowlands with today, so... I definitely recommend it. It's something you can look into if you really want to try a little extra money. If you just wanted to say, fuck it, and just sell your agent banks and see where it gets you and start farming the mats you need for other shit if you wanted to. But it's definitely worth it, so... Alright, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Hopefully you do. Um, if you didn't like it, drop a comment to see what the problem is, and we'll try and figure it out. I'll try and iron it out. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, share it with all your friends. That helps my channel out a lot. And I'll take it easy, and I'll see you on the next one.